Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to go over an interview question uh, asked by LinkedIn uh, and it's a SQL interview question. So um, it's not really, doesn't really matter I think uh, first off if uh, the question was asked by a specific company or not. I think it just kind of goes to show um, what kind of questions uh, are asked by uh, specific companies when they're um, usually within the, like the same domain. Uh, so uh, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, LinkedIn will ask questions about job postings and jobs because that's their industry. Facebook will obviously ask interview questions about ads, engagement. Um, Google will ask uh, interview questions about uh, ads as well and also like search and measurement. So um, a lot of times I think you can uh, generally abstract the actual um, SQL out of the uh, domain and for the most part um, you know this is like a pretty generalized question uh, that's just specifically within jobs uh, so let's dive into it um, so this is a question that we have on interview query as well uh, but I'll go over the solution here um, to kind of break it down okay so uh, the question starts out with uh, this job postings table. So uh, given a table of job postings, write a query to break down the number of users that have posted their jobs once versus the number of users that have posted at least one job multiple times. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, just taking this in right now, I think we should look at the schema. And so uh, you see right here that there's an ID, a job ID, a user ID, and a date posted field. Okay. So what's the strategy here for tackling these kinds of interview questions, right? Um, initially, whenever I look at a question like this, I try to, um, I'd say number one, always visualize what the output is gonna look like and then try to work backwards from there. Uh, because a lot of times these questions can be pretty confusing. They can be very lengthy. Uh, it helps to you know, break it down into small chunks and to uh, actually conceptualize something um, visually so that uh, you know exactly uh, what kind of like queries you need to write to be able to select for it. So for the first one, we can see that uh, to break down the number of users that have posted their job once versus the number of users that have posted at least multiple times, we'd probably want something um, which is either uh, two values, either in the row or in the column. And what I mean by that is we could have something like um, posted once, posted multiple times, okay, and then, you know, a table right here, and then it would be something like this is 100 users, and this would be like 500 users, gotcha. And we could do that same way um, uh, if we wanted to transpose it, right? So instead of having this uh, as columns, we had these as uh, actual rows, right? Um, and so, for this scenario, um, we could probably do just do columns um, or maybe rows. I'm not really sure how we're going to solve it yet. Uh, but it just kind of helps to understand uh, exactly what the value is going to be. So now that we know what uh, our output actually looks like, I think uh, one thing that we actually have to go back and define is uh, what does it mean by posted once? Because this could be a job that posted once, right? Um, and so I want to redefine this and actually say uh, users that have posted their jobs uh, only once, right? So that means that you can post multiple jobs, but you post them only once. Uh, and then the other one is uh, someone, the number of people that actually post their jobs at least uh, one job multiple times, which means that uh, it could only be one job, but they've posted them multiple times, right? Uh, and so if we go one step backwards, right? So the whole goal of this is that we take, um, we visualize the output and then we go one step backwards. Um, essentially what we want, um, I had copied this from before, uh, but we basically want something where we have the user ID, the job ID, and then the number of times they actually posted it. So that's two. Uh, but let's say that we have this one uh, they have a different job ID, and then there's only posted once, right? And then this user, uh, third job ID, and it was posted once. In this case, uh, our output would actually be that the user ID uh, one would be uh, the one user that has posted 
multiple times, so this would be like one, and then user ID two uh, posted the job ID number three only once, and that's their only job, and so they posted that one as one. So this would be one one if we were to run it on uh, this example. Okay, so cool. So how do we get to this, and then how do we get from here to over here? Uh, well, let's try to get to just this part first, right? Uh, and so to do that, um, I think that one's actually pretty simple. All we have to do is do a group by on the user ID and the job ID. So we could do select user ID, job ID from job postings, group by user ID, job ID, uh, and then we actually want the number of times they actually posted it, right? So then we can just do a count field here. Um, assuming that the value date posted would be uh, distinct and that there's not multiple postings. So you can't um, say that, like, let's say you posted this job once, uh, there wouldn't be two rows in there for the exact same timestamp. But just in case, I'm gonna do a count distinct on the date posted field. Cool. As uh, num posted. Awesome, so now this actually gives us the table that we want, which is uh, this one right here, right? Because now we, we're, we are grabbing the unique pairing of the user ID, job ID. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually wrap this into a CTE for later. So I'll call this with, uh, I don't know, user job as this, and then tab that, and then that, cool. So now uh, let's try to get from this step to this table. So to get to that table, um, effectively, what we have to do is we have to count the number of times that uh, a user shows up in this one, which is equivalent to the number of times that this gets posted, right? Um, so basically, you know, if this user posts, if this has two rows, so let's say that um, we're looking at these two rows right here, uh, and we see that they have two jobs, then we want to see that this one is actually also, uh, the sum of this column is actually two, right? Because that means that they would have been in this condition, that they've only posted their jobs only once, right? So if you, put, you have three jobs, then you want the number of times that um, they've been posted total to be three. Right, so we could do like a count on this field on the number of uh, rows and then divide it by the sum of this. Um, that is interesting, right? Because that's actually just the formula for uh, the mean or an average, right? So instead, if I actually went select from user job and I did, uh, let's say, a group by on the user ID, um, or not on the user ID actually, we just wanna grab a general count. So, um, hmm, so how do we, what do we do this? Uh, yeah, actually, maybe we can group it by the user ID. So if we group it by the user ID, I want then like a column that basically tells me if I'm in this condition or if I'm in this condition, right? So I could grab the user ID here and then some sort of formula to tell me that uh, I'm in that condition. I think the formula would be actually the average number of this column num posted, right? So if the average of all these values for each user ID is one, then that actually means that they have uh, posted their jobs only once, right? If the average is not equal to one, like in this case, that means they've posted their, their jobs multiple times. Um, or at least one job multiple times, uh, because uh, the value could actually be just be greater than one, right? Because um, you can't have zero because of the fact that uh, we only have one table that implicates all the user job postings, um, and we don't have a users table, and that means that uh, the only number, the very minimum value for this is actually just one. So let's say we take this average um, as average um, posted. So now we have a table that looks something more like, uh, let's see if I can just draw this out real quick, where it's user ID, average um, posted, and then a little table thing right here, 
and then this one is going to be 1 for user, user ID number 1, and this one is going to be the average of 2 and 1, which is 1.5, I hope. <laughs> and then user ID 2, which is 1. Cool. So now we have this value of average num posted. So now all we have to do is wrap this in a bigger query and go select from this uh, and then do a count of all the values that have uh, uh, that are greater than one. Um, actually, we might not even have to do that, right? Because of the fact that we could use a having clause. Um, no, we can't use the having clause because that uh, doesn't work uh, in this scenario because that would just filter our values out. So instead, yeah, we can use a bigger query on top of this. So we wrap it. Uh, this and this, another query, and we use good syntax because we're awesome. Um, and then with that, now we can do okay, um, some case when average num posted is greater than one, then one else. Uh, uh, we don't need it else and as uh, posted multiple times and then this one can be some case when average num posted is equal to one then one and as posted once cool uh, and I believe that should be the correct answer. Um, there's probably a more optimal way to do it. I don't really like how lengthy this is. Um, so if anyone in the comments wants to uh, tell me exactly how to uh, make it a little bit more optimal, please let me know, or just cleaner. Um, otherwise, I believe this is uh, the solution. I hope you guys uh, learned a lot from this video uh, on how to just solve some of these questions and I will talk to you guys soon uh, for the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe. Heard that increases subscriber conversion rates.